Hey guys, in today's video, I am making some more fabric books. I've been super into styling with books lately, so I wanted to kind of build on my collection, make a little, although I'm into dark decor, a lot of you guys know that, I wanted to kind of brighten some space up with some more books. So the problem is I have only lived in Arizona for two and a half years, and I'm still having a hard time finding vintage stores that are good. Now, I will say these ones are, this was actually an accident. I didn't even mean to buy two black books and I really kind of want to keep them black, really bad actually. But I'm gonna cover them up for the sake of the video. But, I mean, come on, are these nice? Okay, so basically I looked for books that had like aging, like aging paper. Uh, but like I said, I couldn't find any. If I found them, I found them at like vintage stores and they were so expensive, between like 10 and $20 and I'm just not willing to pay that considering back in Oregon, I got these for like a dollar to 250. So no thanks, that's a hard pass for me. I made these ones a couple of years ago and they were kind of a gray color and then I painted them white. But when I was in restoration hardware like recently, I noticed that they used white fabric and it wasn't painted, it just was straight up white fabric. And I was like, oh my gosh, that looks so much more expensive and so much nicer. I'm not gonna rip these off and redo it, that'd be such a waste. But I am going to build my collection onward with fabric. So what you're gonna need is some vintage books, some fabric. I got white jean material because it was just like thick and nice and I really liked it. You're gonna need some glue stick and obviously some scissors. So it's a really easy project and then it just really like elevates your home. It makes like, it makes it where you can fill in spaces and just decorate in a more, I mean, you could do both ways. So you can make it look really like nice and clean and minimal with like the binding side, or you can make it look like antique, a little bit more rustic, a little bit, you know, warmer with the paper side. So kind of up to you, you decide, but basically it's really, really easy. And I just think it really makes a big difference in your home. I really like it. So I hope that you guys like it. Let me know if you have done this, if you plan on doing it. Oh, by the way, uh, I bought two books and the fabric for less than $8. So, you know, not too bad. And I can use, I could get a couple more books out of this fabric. And if you can find cheaper books, that'd be great too. But basically it's a really inexpensive way, a bougie on a budget way to decorate your house. One last thing, when you're looking for books, if you can't find the like aged paper, look for the, the books that have like the rough edges, like the deckled edge, edges. I'm not sure what, what it's called. I don't even know if that's what it's called, but basically where it's not like flush, but it has some texture. That's gonna help you out a little bit. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's make some books, let's design. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, oh, well, first we're gonna heat up our glue stick. All right. So what I like to do is lay out my fabric. Ah, I should have stained this, but that's all right. And what I'm gonna do is give myself like, an inch or two to go around the book. Yeah, I could get a lot of books out of this. All right. So I think if you give yourself like an inch, that should be plenty. Maybe like an inch and a half just in case. Because you're gonna pull it tight. And then you're gonna Make your mark. You guys, this is like the easiest little DIY, but like it really makes a difference with your home decor. I love it. And you know what's crazy is I've had this in my house 
for a while and I've never gotten sick of it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just cut this straight down. Now, if you want to be a little precise, you might want to like have a ruler or something, but I'm just kind of winging it to be honest. Also, I'm holding the scissors really weirdly. Ignore that. I know how to hold scissors, but for the sake of the video, I was trying to make it easy for you guys to see and not flip the fabric around. Okay, so now I got my fabric cut. Get my book. And then I will just like double check to make sure I didn't screw up. Yep, looking good, perfect. So I'm gonna kind of center it and then just make sure I have enough fabric. And then I like to glue the back. And you don't really, you really don't need a lot of glue, to be honest. So these lines right here, I cut these straight down to the corner. And then from on this side right here, I cut these You know what, a long time ago, I think I got this off of Joanna Gaines' website. So if that is still available, I will link it. And don't worry about it being perfect, you guys. Like it's. You, you don't have to have it perfect, seriously. Okay, and then on the, right here, the binding side, you're just going to cut these ones straight down, the binding. Anyone else love the smell of old books? Oh my gosh, I love it. It smells so good. Old books in general smell so good. And I kind of like look at the line of the paper to kind of follow this one. And then basically what you're gonna do from here is you're going to glue your sides down. So you're just gonna fold this over I like to pull pretty tight because I like a tight look. Like so. I told you it's so easy. And the first one is kind of like your guide because you can pull the other one tight as well. Like after you get over there, you know what I mean? I'll show you. So you're gonna pull this down tight. side tight and even if you have too much fabric you can still cut it off so it's it's really easy to do oh my gosh it looks so much better than the other ones that I did with the fabric oh my gosh the fabric makes such a difference I'm gonna take these off though because I don't really love how that looks underneath there Pull that tight. And pull this tight. You kind of have to work fast with hot glue gun. But you can use like you can use whatever. You can use glue stick, hot glue gun. Whatever you have is fine. And I'm gonna take 
this off because like I said, I just didn't like how it looked underneath there. I just feel like these books just like totally fill up a space so beautifully. Like I am not the biggest fan of a lot of discolored or like different colored books. Not my favorite thing. Okay, so I don't know if you saw on this side, I had to pull really tight because the edge was kind of poking out. So you wanna make sure your edges are covered. That really is an important thing about this. So excited. Ever since I discovered that Restoration Hardware was theirs were fabric, and their books are huge. So if you can buy big books, you're gonna get that Restoration Hardware uh, Restoration Hardware look even better. But for now, we're just doing these books. The books that I could find, it was already a struggle. <laughs> Also right here, it's not perfect, but again, you're not gonna really be seeing these and you can kind of trim it or glue it or, you know, put it together however you want. You can also um, glue right here, which I think I did on these ones. If you can see, like I totally did glue right there. I should have done that. Now it's like, should I? I may. That makes a huge difference. Wow, okay. Worth it, you guys. It was worth ripping that off. But I just am putting glue like in the seam. Or not, in, yeah, I guess in the seam. And I'm flipping it over. I'm gonna pull this side tight because I still need to make sure I have my corners all covered. But getting that nice, it makes a big difference. That seam makes a huge difference. Okay, let that dry for a second. Okay, the last thing we have to do is deal with these little flaps right there. I should have taken off that sticker, but I didn't. So what you're gonna do right here is you're just gonna cut a little tiny little bit to just fold over. So you really don't need much. Something like that is perfect. And then you're just going to glue the backside right here. And mine is kind of like missing a piece. So you're just gonna fold it over like so. All right, you guys, we just finished with the first book. And now I'm gonna do the second book. Hello. Hey. Nothing, just filming. Oh, you still filming? Yeah, that was fine. Hey, you have a favorite barbecue sauce? Wait, what? You have a favorite barbecue sauce? Probably that Sweet Baby Ray's. Is that your favorite? Probably, yeah. The original one or what one? Um, I don't know, the one Danny gets. We used to get it, I don't remember what it is. Okay. Do you know what one I'm talking about? I'm yeah. Okay, bye. bye. Okay, so I'm starting on the second book. I'm doing essentially the same thing.
Perfect. Okay, there we have it. Two beautiful linen restoration hardware knockoff books. And they were $8 to make instead of the hundreds that restoration will charge you. Beautiful. I love them. I love decorating with them. Mm, yeah. He's making me jump from high ground, keeps catching me.